and not to worry because it might look like you're going to ruin the top but it will look once it all comes together it'll look great well that's the thing that most mm. of my students say I don't want to ruin it I love my patchwork top and I don't want to ruin yeah. it so yes mm. be um, and the, the, the walking foot is actually, the machine is doing all the work for you because they know how to sew. So being yeah. able to do what you're, as you, as you say, you're putting the superimposing this. And I think everyone has to remember that this is not permanent pen, they're stitches. Worst case scenario, get your seam ripper and just rip it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's thing. absolutely fine. And the lines aren't dead straight, I have to, you know, so don't worry about having to be perfectly straight. It's, it's more forgiving than you realise. And I think when you're using pattern fabrics as well, it tends to blend into it. So yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the only thing about using um, solid fabrics. Yes. Mm. It's not very forgiving. No. <laughs> no, at all. It's, no. But that's true of a lot of the modern quilts, the, the beautiful model quilts that you, you've made. You've got a lot of uh, negative space, open space that isn't patchwork. Yes. Um, so something like this really fills it in. Yes. Lovely. Yeah. I think that's what kind of draws me to those kind of designs is that I love this side of um, making a quilt. And I know a lot of people kind of shy away from this side, don't they? Um, well, I, I feel I think I think there's been yeah they feel that they can't do it. It's a learned yeah. skill, but actually they've made the whole top so they've yes. sewn it. I think that's harder than yes. actually this part. I think it's just getting over the mind block of I've got to go over the whole quilt. I could hurt this quilt yes. from doing this, but yeah. as soon as you yes. relax into it, it's absolutely fine. You know, you'll be fine. <laughs>